everyone, I'm Sarah of Bridge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this ruled lattice stitch and uh, this is a fairly fun stitch to work. It's very, very open, lacy, lightweight. Um, there's not much difference on either side but uh, because of these rows of single crochet stitches it's also fairly uh, stable as well. There's a lot of strength to it. Now uh, for this pattern today I'm going to be using a five millimeter crochet hook as well as some of this cotton yarn by Paintbox Yarns and uh, there'll be links to both of those items in the description of the video. Also in the description you'll find a link to the free written pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. Feel free to take a look around. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials as well. Don't forget to subscribe and then let me know down in the comments how you would use this stitch in a project. Our stitch today is worked in rows. So we're going to start by making a slip knot. And then by working our foundation chain, our foundation chain needs to be a multiple of four stitches plus two. So today I'm going to work a total of 22 stitches. There's 20 and 22. Once you have your foundation stitch uh, chain worked, you're going to begin by working a single crochet stitch into the second chain. So count in one, two, into that second chain from your hook, work one single crochet, and then single crochet into each chain all the way across. Once you've worked one single crochet in each stitch all the way across, you're going to chain seven. And turn your work. Next, you're going to skip your first two stitches. So skip the stitch that your chain is coming out of. Skip the next stitch into your next stitch. You're going to work one single crochet. Chain seven. Skip the next three stitches and single crochet into the next stitch. You'll want to repeat that all the way across. Chain seven. Skip the next three stitches and single crochet into the next stitch. I'm just going to keep working because I'm almost across. When you come to your final two stitches, you're going to chain three, skip the next stitch, and work one double crochet into that last stitch. That brings you to the end of your row two. You can then chain one and turn your work. For row three, you're going to single crochet into this first stitch, into your double crochet stitch, chain three, and work a single crochet into the next chain seven space. So you're skipping that chain three, skipping the single crochet into the next chain seven space, work a single crochet stitch. You're then going to chain three and once again work a single crochet into the next 
chain seven space. Repeat that all the way across. So chain three, single crochet into the next chain seven, chain three, and single crochet into the next chain seven space. When you come across to your final stitch, you're going to simply finish by working a single crochet into that chain seven, starting chain seven space. You can then chain one and turn your work. For chain, uh, row four, you've chained one. You're going to single crochet into that first stitch. Next, work three single crochets into the next chain three space. And then single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. Repeat that across, work three single crochets into your next chain three space and single crochet into your next single crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way across. At the end of your row four, you can chain seven. And turn your work. Now for the rest of the pattern, you're going to repeat your rows two through to row four. So you've chained seven, you're going to skip those first two stitches and work a single crochet into that next stitch. Then chain seven, skip three, and single crochet and repeat that across. That was your row two. And then you're going to continue repeating your rows uh, two, three, and four for as long as you would like. At the end of your project, you can fasten off and weave in your ends. Now, because of uh, the chain stitches and that in this project, this is one swatch that might look best if it is blocked according to the instructions on your yarn label uh, when you are finished. But that's all there is to working this ruled lattice stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.